Last time, we told a tale about the founding of their society and where the giants got their leaders. Today, we shall tell a tale about the fall and how the city that Lanaxus built was destroyed by the Great Glacier. So, shortly before the end of the war with the dragons, the stories say that Othea, Anam's wife, developed an interest in a minor sea god known as Ulutiu. This was not Othea's first foray with adultery. She had previously committed betrayal with Vaprak, a coupling that resulted in the creation of the Ogre race. It is also believed that Cyclopes and Cyclopes' skin are the outcomes of Othea's adultery, but it's not known who fathered them. During the last years of the Dragon War, when Anam was busy fighting, Othea's passionate union with Ulutiu produced four sons that later founded the lesser giant kin dynasties of the Firebolg, Verbeeg, Voadkin, and Fomorian. The story goes on to say that Anam discovered the dalliance and sought revenge upon Ulutiu. Anam and Ulutiu fought, and when the final blow landed, it is said that Ulutiu's last breath shattered the ziggurat at Sheol Div as his corpse fell into the depths of the cold ocean. When Ulutiu died, his magical amulet started to freeze all the water around him. The Northlands was once a place where life thrived. It was harsh and cold, but animals and humanoids alike could have a life there. With the ice from Ulutiu's amulet, this all ended. He created the Great Glacier and the Endless Ice Sea, destroying many dwellings and strongholds. The glacier also threatened to engulf Vonenheim, the capital of Ostaria. Lanaxus learned what had caused the glacier and soon discovered the secret of how to stop the creeping ice caps, but Othea forbade her children from intervening. Othea saw the creeping ice as revenge for Anam's savage murder of her lover. Although the frost doomed Ostaria, she seemed to only care for the children she spawned with Ulutiu. Anam planned to sire another son capable of restoring Ostoria to its former glory, but Othea wanted no part of this and refused to bear him another son. Anam was not to be denied and tricked Othea by turning into a misty wind and impregnating her. Now Thea soon discovered what had happened and gave Anam a mare's nest of a choice. His unborn son would be expelled before his time and his body given to the ogres to be feasted upon, or Anam would leave Toril and not return until all his children called for it. Anam left in hopes that his children would restore Ostoria without his help. With Anam gone, his sons now rose to the occasion. Lenaxus, now the leader of the giants, was so devoted to his father and the idea of Ostaria that he refused to accept his mother's will. He summoned all his brothers to Vonenheim and urged them to help mount an expedition to find and destroy Ulutiu's amulet. Othea learned about this summoning, and Lenaxus had to modify his plans. He resolved to poison his mother to remove the obstacle to Ostaria's salvation. Unfortunately, his plan went awry, and Lenaxus not only murdered his mother, but all his brothers. With her dying breath, Othea cursed Lenaxus and forced him and his titan kin to flee Toril, or lose their immortality. With the death of Othea, the capital in ruin, and all the leaders of the giants dead, Ostaria quickly became a faded memory. And that concludes our summary of the history of giants. I think it's important that we remember that this is all myth and lore. The great Radagast's Sage of Waterdeep highlights several inconsistencies in this story. 
For example, there is a great overlap between the formation of the Great Glacier and Neferol's high point, yet Neferol does not mention this at any point. We also have maps from the Saruk Empire, showing the Great Glacier in the Days of Thunder. So some parts might be true, but unfortunately I don't know which parts. Join us again next time when we tackle a subject less mythical. We're always interested in your feedback, and we'd really like to know which topics you want to hear more about. We have some ideas, but we want you to help us decide on the final product. Do you want us to do a history of Waterdeep? A history of Sembia? Or do you want us to dig deeper into the social laws of Nephril? Please let us know what topics you want us to dig deeper into.